put those in with the other solids. And the same with our other pot. Pour the clear ghee out and leave the solids in the bottom of the pan. Now what we've got here is a clear golden liquid and it still has a few little particles of solids left in it but that's alright. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to cook this until all the water is completely cooked out. Now this is the trickiest part because we have to cook it on high, bring it to a boil to uh, cook the moisture out but at the same time there is going to be uh, impurities that are suspended in the ghee. They're going to settle out to the bottom and we have to be careful not to let them burn. If they burn they're going to ruin the flavor of the ghee. But at the same time we want to get all the water out number one so that it will stay good for many months without any preservation or refrigeration. And the other thing is uh, that when we use it for frying it won't have a lot of uh, steam or uh, moisture still left in it. I don't know if you can see this here. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. But there's already water bubbles or steam bubbles coming up here from the bottom. And as the ghee heats up we're going to get more and more of those. You can see those little flecks of stuff floating around those are just the few impurities that are left and as they cook off their water they are going to sink to the bottom of the pan. So as the ghee gets hotter you're going to have to uh, reduce the, the heat in order to keep those pieces of impurities on the bottom from burning and ruining the flavor. But now these pieces of impurities are like sticking to the bottom. See down here. Oh my wet spoon. This is pretty clean ghee. Usually there's quite a bit more of stuff in suspension that cooks out and sticks to the bottom. But even so, we'll still need to let it cool and uh, all those little pieces fall to the bottom and then we'll pour it off one more time at the end. You know when the ghee is done when it turns a slightly more golden dark color and you see the spoon making bubbles? That's from the moisture in the spoon. So you know that the temperature of the ghee is above the boiling point of water. And that means that the moisture is pretty much cooked out so we turn off the flame at this point and let it cool and get ready for the final pour off. Okay so now we're going to merge the ghee we just made with our supply of ghee. Um, five kilo block of butter like this. The ghee that we get from it and the solids last us about a month for its five hungry brahmacharis. So uh, that's it. That's the process of how ghee is made and then in the next episodes we'll start talking about what to do with it. How to make pakoras, samosas, kachoris and so on. How to eat